The video today is going to deal with warming up on the guitar. Uh, there are a lot of standard ways to warm up. Uh, the internet is full of people that will say that their warm up exercises are the best and they're the best for them. Um, and they're all right um, because the biggest problem with uh, most musicians is they don't warm up. So finding a good set of warm up exercises um, is valuable, but warming up in any way before you start playing really challenging technical work is, is, is super valuable uh, as well. So really any warm-ups will do. Um, generally we do, most warm-ups are, are chromatically based. So um, we, in our, on the guitar, we count our fingers uh, one, two, three, four, index finger to baby finger, one, two, three, four. We don't count the thumb. So for those of you to play the piano, it's a new way of uh, having to think about which fingers to use. Uh, you can either use a flat pick uh, to warm up or use these two fingers back and forth. So that would be uh, hitting that string with the thumb going down, the index finger coming up, and not putting them across from one another so they run into one another, obviously. Um, so back and forth, that's how generally we play um, uh, single line, uh, single note lines um, with our fingers. Uh, I'm going to use a flat pick today. Um, so. Uh, how we warm up is by using consecutive frets, obviously chromatic, and uh, we come up to the sixth string, this is the top one. Strings are numbered from the bottom, one, two, three, four, five, six, fifth fret, and we start with the first finger, add the second finger to the, uh, sorry, this is the fifth fret of the sixth string, add the second finger to the sixth fret, third finger to the seventh fret, and baby finger to the eighth fret. Then we work our way down, uh, fifth string, one, two, three, four, fourth string, one, two, three, leaving the fingers on as we go, one, two, we want to get a stretch out of that hand, one, two, three, four, and one, two, three, four, then working our way back up the strings, second string, one, two, three, four, third string, one, two, three, four, fourth, one, two, three, four, fifth, one, two, three, four, and sixth string, one, two, three, and four. Good. Uh, so that's the first of 24 of these warm-ups that focus on trying to get four sounds with only four movements. If you take your fingers off, you get one movement, two, three movements, four, five movements, six, seven movements, eight movements, uh, with your fingers and we want to try and leave our fingers on so that we get one two three four movements as well as making a nice stretch out of that exercise as well so that when we have like i said challenging technical work we've already stretched our hand out nicely uh, also building up independent finger movement so we can trigger individual fingers like our baby finger and not have the um, third finger move uh, also being able to move that third finger I'm taking that on and off. I'm not sure if that can be seen. Um, yeah, not making a change in the sound, but we can trigger that finger without the baby finger moving as well. So those are kind of goals, technical goals that we can work towards. Um, uh, the second warm up exercise in this grouping is one, two, four, three. First finger goes down, second finger goes down, three and four go down together. And then the fourth finger is removed to reveal the three. Then we have uh, one, three, two, four. How that is executed is the first finger drops, second and third go on together, third is removed to reveal the two, and baby finger goes on. Of course, we do all of these on every string, so that'd be one, three, two, four, one, three, two, four, one, three, etc., etc., all the way down, all the way back up again. Then we have one, three, four, two, one, three, two, and three go on together. 4 gets added, and 2 and 3 are removed together to reveal the 2. That's 1, 3, 4, 2. Then we have uh, 1, 4, 2, 3. How that one is played is first finger gets added, 2 and 4 get put on together, 4 is removed to reveal the 2, and then 3 gets added. That gets us those 4 movements. 1 movement, 2 movements, 3 movements, 4 movements. If we put them on separately, that would be one movement, two movements, three, four movements, and then five movements. We don't want to have more movements than we're making sound. That's not an efficient or effective way to play the instrument. 
then the last one on the first column is one, four, three, two. We put the first one down, uh, four, uh, I'll put all three, uh, fingers two, three, and four go on. Remove the four to reveal the three and remove the three to reveal the two. So that's one, four, three, two. Then we have a column starting with the second finger. That's two, one, three, four. And we're pre-planting fingers in the two, three, and four columns um, now con consistently from the first one on. So that's uh, two and one go on together. Two is removed to reveal the one. Three gets added and four gets added. We don't reapply the second finger. Uh, and then that's two, one, three, four. Uh, the second one uh, warm up in this column is two, one, four, three. Two and one go on together. Two is removed to reveal the one. The three and four get it put on together and then the four is removed to reveal the three. Then we have uh, two, three, one, four. One and two get put on together. Three gets added. Uh, two and three get removed, revealing the one, and then the four gets added. Then we have two, three, four, one. So that is one and two get put on together. Uh, three gets added. Four gets added. And then two, three, and four get removed to reveal the one. Then we have two. Uh, two, four, one, three. This one's a little, little bit interesting for the brain. Uh, we have uh, one and two go on together. Four gets added. Then two and four get removed to reveal the one. And then three gets added. And then we have the last one, two, four, three, one. So that's one and two get put on together. Four gets added. Uh, Sorry, two, three, and four get put on together. There we go. <laughs> I haven't thought about that one. Um, and then four gets removed to reveal the three, and then two and three get removed to re reveal the one. So that would be uh, one movement, two movements, three movements, four movements when these two get taken off together. Okay, good. Then in the third column, we have three, one, two, four. So it's uh, three and one go on together. Uh, three gets removed to reveal the one. Two gets added and then four gets added. Then we have uh, uh, three, one, four, two. Uh, this one is tricky for some people as well. Uh, three and one get put on together. Three is removed to reveal the one. Then two and four get put on together. And then four is removed to reveal the two. So that's... That's kind of like a, a weird movement for some people's hands until they get used to it. Then we have uh, three, two, one, four. So that would be uh, three, two, and one get all put on together. Three gets removed to reveal the two. And then two gets re removed to reveal the one. And then four gets added. So that's three, two, one, four. Then we have uh, three, two, four, one. Uh, Three, uh, one, two, and three all get put on together. Then uh, two, the three gets removed to reveal the two. Four gets added, and then the two and the four get removed to reveal the one. So that's three, uh, four, two, one. Um, and then we have uh, uh, three, four, one, two. Yes, so that would be uh, three, uh, one, two, and three get put on together, four, um, then four, three, and two get removed to reveal the one, two, uh, then we have uh, three, four, two, one. So that would be uh, one, two, and three get put on together, uh, four gets added, then three and four get removed to reveal the two, and then we end up with the one. Okay, and that would be the third column. Fourth column is uh, four, one, two, three, uh, four, one, three, two, uh, and then we have uh, four, two, one, three, then four, two, three, one, and then four, uh, 
So this would be four, three, one, two, and then four, three, sorry, four, three, two, one would be the last of that series. So there's six in each column, and uh, you can work your way through uh, figuring out how to get those four sounds out of four movements. If you're getting five movements, six movements, anything more than four movements, uh, by putting fingers on together, we're considering that to be one movement. So that four, three, two, one, four, three, two, one, they all go on together like that. Four, three, two, one, four, three, two, one, four, three, two, one. So, uh, then four, four, three, two, one, work your way back up. Um, it's valuable to um, do your warm ups with a metronome. Uh, most people start around 60. Uh, you would think that then you would graduate to 70, 80, doing them faster, which is valuable if you want to do speed drills. But to warm up, you actually graduate to lower tempos. So uh, you do them at 50, you can do them at 40 beats per minute. Uh, the larger the gap between the notes um, going slow, the harder it sometimes is to be able to um, uh, hit that r metronome uh, tick right on and have a consistent uh, tempo, and uh, and that's uh, that's that's valuable. Um, that's warm ups. Um, that's the full set, and uh, that's a good way to get started on your on your uh, practice time.